Greetings and salutations, guys. It is Kamaya Tarpley again, uh, back with another book review. Um, I know this review I said I was going to do in front of Malahide Castle when I was in Ireland, uh, but the audio quality just wasn't that great, um, and I didn't want you guys to have to suffer and listen through <laughs> to me giving you a review through the wind and stuff, so I'm doing it now. Uh, today's review is going to be about The Translator by Daoud Hari. Uh, it it's actually a memoir. There's a picture of him on the back. There he is. Um, I know I have kind of a sing-songy tone right now, but this book is really not sing-songy. Um, it's actually about uh, the Darfur War, uh, which if you're not sure about it, I'm actually going to post a link below uh, so you can actually take a gander. Um, but it's been going on forever. I remember learning about it in high school. Uh, it's essentially the Sudanese government uh, declaring war on its non-Arab citizens. <clears throat> and it's not just war. It's a pure genocide and stuff. Just pure genocide. That, let's just make that super, super clear. Um, it's really sad. It's honestly really sad. Um, the book's actually really good because it's told from his point of view. Uh, Dawood was actually there. You know, he was a translator uh, working with two other guys to get really the story of what was going on out. Um, it pretty much details him going from various parts of the region, like helping other people, listening to their stories of how, you know, Darfur has uh, affected them. And some of these stories are really like bone chilling and stuff. Like if you're not someone who can handle, you know, real extreme violence, I am not sure I'd recommend it, but I would, I'd feel like I probably still would <laughs> just for the educational purposes. Because uh, it's really important. Uh, it's in Africa, by the way, for people who are like, where is, you know, Syrian? <laughs> it's in Africa. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, it's great. And just, it's poetically written. The way he writes some of these things, like how he describes, you know, the camels walking over the sand. It's, it's you know, the crunching of bones. Uh, just, oh, oh, just, you know, they're killing children and raping women and killing men. And it's just, no one's off the limits. And it's, it's so sad but him being a translator really helped him in so many situations like there's many situations where he would have just been killed on sight uh but because of who he was and like his good nature uh, a lot of people pretty much let him live um and he really is the whole reason why this two companions live because they didn't know you know what other people were saying to them they had no idea uh so if it wasn't for him they too would have perished and stuff. So, I mean, it's not a really heavy read and stuff. Like, you can see it's not ridiculous and stuff. So there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to take the time, you know, read this and stuff. Like, it's it's good. I definitely recommend it. National bestseller, guys. National bestseller. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. So that's the review for today. Um, I'm going to have another one coming soon. I know I owe you guys... Uh, it's been like a few weeks before I did actual book review. I know my last one was about travel tips and stuff. So, um, yeah, we're going to have another one soon. Keep a peek for it. You know what you can do to keep a peek for it? You can subscribe. Just hit the little, little subscribe button, you know. Don't forget to hit like as well. Comment. Do you guys have any questions, concerns, or any books that you want me to read? I'll be more than happy to. Uh, but that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching. And have a good day. <laughs>